So welcome back to hot and steamy Florida, everybody. So the storms here lately have been insane. Luckily, we're on about a week and a half to two week break. But before that, oh my goodness, things are flooded around here. Super high winds, trees down, damage. But when a storm gives, I take. And by that, I mean I have cherry trees down everywhere across the property. We recently had a storm that spun up a bunch of tornadoes in this area, and we had major frontline winds, 60 to 75 mile an hour winds just in front of the storm. So even if you weren't in the tornado's path, you wind up with trees down. So our cherry trees are some of our weaker hardwoods here. But if you've watched the channel, you know that cherry is my favorite tree by far. Not only for the firewood, it cracks, it pops, it smells good, but we do a tremendous amount of cooking and smoking over cherry wood. It is my favorite wood by far for cooking and smoking over. And if you watched the channel recently, oh my goodness, have we been doing a bunch of that. Custom building all of our own cooking appliances and huge outdoor area. So cherry gets me excited. We're not gonna let this rot. So let's just start working along this tree line. I got a cherry tree down here, some limbs down there, several trees down there, another cherry down over here. We're just gonna start picking, well, we're gonna start cherry picking the trees. I've got oaks and stuff down as well, but I'm on a cherry kick. I'm trying to split and cut as much of that as I can because we're cooking all summer long. Let's get started. You know, something we might need to add in the future onto my carrying rack that I built here is I got a chainsaw holder, but I might need to build something on the side to where I can flip and work on my chainsaw, fill it with fuel. That could be a fun little future project.
just had another storm recently come through and block this trail down and I'm trying to get to the edge of my pasture over here to get a couple more big sections of cherry tree that blew down. This is just an old holly tree, not good wood at all, but I need access back to my trail. Let's get it out of the way while we're in here with a saw. Dang, I love that winch. That choker is strong. Woo! <laughs>
out of this tree that I was just cutting up. snake was up in this part of the tree. That's wild. A tree full of snakes. Let me tell y'all something, this combo right here is one mean wood gathering machine. The grapple, the winch on the back, my goodness y'all, I just don't know how I could get a lot of this stuff done without this combination. And of course, a tractor is just such a multi-use tool. All right, so another successful wood gathering day. Ultimately, what I'm trying to do is make some more of these totes. Speaking of, I gotta get this tote out here in the sun and drying. So I thought I was out of cherry, but Mother Nature keeps providing it. It keeps popping up constantly. I hate that I'm losing my trees, but we're gonna put them to use. I got a few more out there, y'all. I'm talking some biggest cherries I've ever personally had on the property. Some of these tops blew out of them, but they still got enough green, I'm gonna watch them. But should they start showing signs of dying, we'll have to get in the woods, cut those down, and we'll bring them up here and get ready to split. So what y'all think about the snakes? That was pretty wild. Apparently that tree was hollow all the way through. I don't know how many snakes were in there because I done made trips up here bringing some of those hollow pieces up. And I don't know how many dropped out, climbed out, or how many more when there are other sections. And as long as those snakes were, I am shocked I didn't cut some in half whenever I was cutting into those trees. I very well may have. I just haven't really actually looked. Now those were non-venomous, I tend to leave them alone. I'm gonna let them go out there and eat mice and other things, but venomous snakes are not welcome on the property. Regardless, that was still shocking surprise right there, especially when I'm watching one large one go in the woods, turn around, there's another one climbing out of the tree over there, zooming by me. Ugh, kinda gives you the heebie-jeebies. Cutting wood this time of year, you've really gotta look out for snakes. I guess even though it's unbelievably hot, I probably should start putting my snake boots on whenever I go out there and start doing work like this. Oh, you just wind up getting a heat stroke and all this stuff. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. This was a fun little episode. I need to get some of this cleanup done. Now it's on to other things. Catch you on the next one.